Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, this is Joe here from Rufio, bringing you back in for another Monday Night Market Watch. If you do hear any crazy noise in the background, it's probably just my pug trying to breathe, so please, please forgive him. It's not his fault. He has a weird smushy skull going on. But anyway, we'll get back in to what we're here for. So, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for joining us. If you haven't already, of course you should hit subscribe. Uh, we are taking a look at the UK and EU markets that's what we do every week here there's so many us markets out there let's compare it to what's going on in europe particularly because things are crazy in the us at the moment and you'll see comparatively our market isn't so bad we're covering our whole range of different stuff here mostly new cards but we've also got a good chunk of requests including some cool reprints and bits and bobs as we go along so we'll fill you all in on that i'll stop waffling though let's get stuck right into the video so we are kicking off today's market watch one of the most watched cards on the market at the moment. We know how crazy this is getting. We saw it have success recently in some online tournaments, which you can go out and I'm sure you'll find profiles nice and easy. In fact, you've probably seen them already. Access Code Talker is being likened to the modern equivalent of Dark Arm Dragon. Super easy to summon, super easy to get into can be played in a variety of decks, let's be truthful of the matter. And it can just pop cards, it's such a big body, it does so much, it's a really, really strong card, and it's probably one of the best cards released of the year so far. And we are seeing that in the price. The cheapest you can get it for at the moment on car market is 55 euros again we have some rough ideas of translations of money at the top translations is that the word conversion rates something like that anyway so i'll give you an idea of what a euro is to a dollar and to a great british pound for those of you in those respective territories so you'll get a rough idea of what this is but 55 euros doesn't seem that bad if you check over on ebay and things like that you're looking at 65 70 euros at a minimum they are flowing up towards a 60 euro mark and it wouldn't surprise me if this goes up towards the 80 mark in the next couple of weeks especially all it takes is one more tournament to do quite well in fact and it may even hit 100 so it might be something that you want to consider picking up sooner rather than later it does outweigh the value of a box so there is a element of risk there you could pick up a box note that you pull it but the fact that it's this high probably also means that it's not the easiest card necessarily to pull um it is one of those things though that you you know if you need it you should probably just shell out the money rather than punt on boxes unless there's other stuff you want as well another big mover a card that has been making waves again something that people have dismissed and i did call this if you watch some of my older market watches is that a lot of people were sort of writing this off as okay it's seen an absolute spike in play ghost mourner and moonlit chill 27 euros is the minimum you can get them for now you're looking closer to 30 euros overall and this is trending all the way up don't be surprised if this even goes up to the 40 or 50 mark in the next few weeks Another big move that we've been keeping a bit of an eye on again over the last few weeks, and I'll continue to do so, is Garden Rose Maiden. Luckily, my copy turned up. I bought it like two weeks ago. It was certainly cheaper than the prices on here, fortunately. So shout out to that guy in the Netherlands who gave me the hookup. But €9 Euros is the minimum at the moment. €10 Euros is probably closer to the going rate. But again, it continues to trend upwards don't be surprised again if this pushes towards the 15 euro mark before it drops down again it's up to you whether you want to cash in and sell it's a question of whether konami thinks that this kind of thing is good for a reprint i don't know if sisters of the rose is in that reprint set we've seen the legendary duel lists with all of those different packs together so it, that may bring the price down but for now it is continuing to trend upwards Next up, I wanted to take a look at some of the Sky Strikers. Ryan, you got out there doing bits, of course. Was a Dragon Duel World Champion, something like that. Certainly nothing to spit at. He's a fantastic player. We've seen him doing quite well across a variety of tournaments. He's always in the mix. He plays a lot of good players, which usually is an indicator of the kind of player they are. Unless you're me, in which case I'm fucking retarded. I just happen to be friends with the right people. But anyway, let's not get into that. So €33 Euros is the minimum for an ulti Shizuku. And the prices are going up across the board, it seems. Obviously, we've seen this drop here i don't really count that ignore that because the actual price you want to look at is the fact that it is 
trending upwards in general. We've seen it as high as 42 euros in the last few days. I expect that we will continue to see these go up as people go, actually, maybe Striker is still a viable option. I want to also take a look shortly, which we will get to, at the prices of Engage and see if that's had a knock-on effect there. But for now, we're going to take a look through the rest of the ultis. We have Kagari, traditionally probably one of the best extra deck monsters the Sky Strike has available to them, arguably the best. Uh, and again, just shooting up 55 euros at a minimum, closer to 60 euros across the board. You need three of these. Can you afford 180 euros for three copies of this card? That's a big investment. My, now might be a good time to try and sell up. Hey Arte, something, in fact this was my last ulti I pulled out of an OTS pack, they didn't have any of the new ones, I got given a janky old one, I thought, ah, this is going to suck, and I pulled an ulti, hey Arte, I got offered it to go quite cheap, don't mind me, just kicking my camera there, I got offered to sell it quite cheap to Jam Jam Cards UK, they normally give me the hook up on nice prices, but I wanted to hold this one, A, because it looked quite nice, and B, it was just so cheap at the time, and now they've added... Close to 15 euros to the price, maybe even 20 euros. But a good little thing for me to hold on to for my own little collection. Kana, unfortunately, still that one-of card. 17, 18 to 20 euros at tops. Uh, not too pricey, and I don't think really that we'll see this one creep up. And now on to Engage. We are looking at all of the prints available here because I just wanted to have a kind of idea of where they're going. It is important to note, of course, at the moment that you can't use the card, but I think for a three euro punt, four euro punt, it might actually be worth picking up a play set of secrets, to be quite honest with you. I mean, this is the this is the uh, Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge version. We'll take a look at the DASA versions in a moment and just see what they're at. But honestly, it might be worth getting. For all we know, Konami might go, right, let's hit Hornet Drones and let people play Striker again. We'll hit Hornet Drones or maybe hit Kagari back to one, something like that. Obviously, it's a wild card guess, but I think for this kind of price range, it's a good punt. And if it ever comes off the list, of course, these will just shoot through the roof. Okay, so our original print of this is still only seven euros a pop for a first ed in near mint condition. This, again, something that I think is really worth taking a punt on. Something you can easily trade into because plenty of people just won't want them anymore because they theoretically have no value at the moment. So pick them up, man. This is something I would 100% take a punt on and something that potentially you might want to consider doing yourself. And lastly, our cheapest of the prints here, one euro fifty for an ultra. If you really want to cheap out and you want to make sure you got this card, this is the way to do it. If it does ever come back, these will probably become closer to the eight euro mark, and all of the others will shoot up to the roof. Incrementally, it's got a little bit of value. Realistically, you probably want to punt on the others if you're going to choose any. But if you just want the card in your collection, this might not be a bad middle ground to go for. Next, we're moving back to new cards rather than old ones. Eldlich, the Golden Lord. The prices on this have been all over the place, and it is still incredibly high. It does look like it's come down a little bit, but really this looks like the deck of the format. People are talking about Adam Antipater. Sure, it has this crazy high ceiling, but honestly, I think that this is the better deck. My personal opinion, you may disagree, and if you do, feel free to tell me in the comments. I'm sure you will anyway. Um, 85 euros, 90 euros is potentially what you're looking at for... Something in near mint condition in English. That's a lot of money. Can you justify it? Well, I guess the rest of the deck isn't too expensive. Uh, and to be fair, that's pretty much the case for all of the top decks. At the moment, they have that one or two cards that are, if you exclude staples, which you should really keep hold of. And if you don't, I will tell you time and time again, you really, really should. This might be something to take a look at. Speaking of Adamantal Pairs, we are taking a quick look at Research, which seems to be tanking through the floor. This was a 50, 60 euro card not so long ago, potentially, depending on where you were buying it from. We're seeing it as low as 39 euros. I imagine there's an element of people getting a little bit scared because of the ban list. Obviously, if Block Dragon gets hit, which to be honest with you, I don't think we're getting one that soon anyway, but it is something you have to consider. If Block Dragon goes, this deck does take a huge hit. You cannot state how much of a big hit that is people don't realize necessarily it's so so free it's unreal the deck is still very very strong but will it be anywhere near as strong i don't think so and i think for that reason people are starting to get rid of these it's also worth noting as well that eldritch to be fair i think has clearly come out as the the favorite deck of the format certainly the least likely to get hit out of the two in, 
whether it's indirectly or not. And I think that a lot of people are migrating over to the Eldritch strategy. We're taking a quick look at Grave Digger's Trap Hole. This was a request that came in, one that I'd watched before. I think the prices have been pretty stable around the 12 euro mark. It is something that I think is one of those cards that's just worth having in your collection. I quite like cards like this because they do have their odd formats where they're crazy good and, you know, not so good. But I think it's nice to have them in your collection. I think 12 euros a pop is not too bad and something again that you could probably trade into because it's one of the lesser secrets of the set. Obviously for those of you in the US market where the price kind of thing is going to chop and change quite soon it's not so bad. It's important to note as well we are heading into the summer months uh, and Card prices tend to go down over that sort of time where we don't have competitive play. Although if competitive play does come back, we may see a big spike. And cards like this will be the kind of card that do spike up in price then. I'm taking a quick look at Chimera Flesia. It's a nice... 3, 3 euro 54 euro card something that's actually again worth having in your binder it is only a one print card so get it in first dead if you're going to but again for 3 euros 50 and if it does become meta relevant which it is starting to see a little bit of play here and there this is the kind of card that you want to pick up I would say though to keep in mind that this is probably the kind of card that might be up for some sort of reprint we're taking a quick look at Dark Ruler No More, one of the most important cards this format. Whenever we go into these crazy combo formats, this and the Biru are always, always going to see some sort of play. For the foreseeable future, these cards will be good. You must own a playset of each of these. You need them if you're going to play the TCG in any competitive way. If you don't own it, you should at least know people who can hook you up for tournaments must have card at the moment i honestly think this is way stronger than nibiru uh nibiru at the moment people just set up a monster negate and that's it they just go to town dark ruler no more basically they can't stop it unless they run some really good counter traps and that kind of thing um and we are seeing that in the price now seven euros 50 is about the going rate i think this may actually continue to creep up towards the 10 mark Next up, we're taking a quick look at Nibiru. Again, mentioned in the same breath as earlier, we are seeing this one already at closer to the 10 mark. This actually seems a lot more stable than Dark Ruler No More. Again, I think for the aforementioned reasons, it's also worth noting as well that one of the strongest decks that this is particularly good against is Adamantipators, and the downside to that is you're giving them a rock monster, which of course can be used a little bit in tandem with their strategy. So it does have some weaknesses. It isn't necessarily the strongest option against a deck, which in theory, it should be crazy good against so i think that that's why we're not seeing the price spike up in this but again it's one of those cards that you should own a play set of already as a request we're covering dt nap beast a really really nice card always nice to have in the collection anything near min a minimum of 66 euros 66 very specific uh call it 70 euros a pop is about the going rate not too bad to be fair again something that will hold a good value and then I wanted to finalise the market watch on some Ghost Golds. My particular favourite card, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I got mine for probably about 20 euros value at the time. They are now like 60 euros plus for something near a mint, which is crazy because I've like tripled the value in that time. I know in the US these are over $100. At least that was my last check in what I'd heard. They were potentially going up from that. Absolutely insane, but it is Blue Eyes White Dragon. Always going to have some collector value. And this is the only set we ever got Ghost Gold rares in, so it doesn't altogether shock me. We've got Mystical Space Typhoon, also Ghost Gold. Again, we're looking about €16 Euros at minimum. This is actually not too bad a price for one of those cards. It's probably not going to see a lot of play going forward because the card has been power crept now, but it is one of those really cool ones that you want in your binder just to flex on people a little bit. I think €16 Euros is actually really not a bad price for a, a near mint copy. Why not take a look at Gores, reminisce about the good old days when you couldn't attack your opponent directly without absolutely shitting your pants. Nine euros is the going rate. We can look a bit further down at the other near mints, which are closer to 12 euros a pop. And our final one, probably the most meta-relevant version of any of the Ghost Skull cards that are available, Solemn Judgment. I had one copy of this. I really wish I'd gone for the playset, but I quite like my Metal Raiders ones. 20 euros at a minimum. Let's have a look further down the line and see what these are kicking in at. Okay, so we're looking around 22 euros at a minimum, uh, probably closer to 25 across the board, depending on what you want. Again, this is not actually a bad pickup. We're never going to see this card printed in this rarity again. Uh, I think it's a really, really solid rarity to pick up. They look fantastic. I know people don't like their gold rares, um, but Gold Ghost looks really, really good. And I would say it's probably one of the few gold rares that you really should quite enjoy owning copies of. So that is it for today's Market Watch. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Hopefully you've really, really enjoyed that video and that you'll stick around for a bit more. The fact that you made it this far in the video is pretty insane to me 
already. Once again, thank you very much for joining us. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. If there's anything you would like me to cover on the channel, whether it's market watch related or otherwise profiles, all that kind of thing, combo videos, maybe some introductory crash course. If you haven't checked those out, you probably should. Uh, just let me know down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And of course, you know, the best way to show me that you enjoy all of this is to hit that notification bell so you can check all my videos as and when they come out thank you very much again for checking in guys and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content i put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment before you go be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility thanks again for checking in and i'll see you in the next one